Mexico's war on drugs. In the 13 years since it began, it has cost more than 200,000 lives, according to official figures. Nowhere is the pain more keenly felt than in Tijuana, a city where around one in every six people is a drug addict. That's according to Jose Luis Perez, a former Baja California state attorney who is focused on human rights and rescuing the next generation. At least some of the dead have left children behind, boys and girls, orphans. Statistics vary, but it's anywhere between 30,000 and 50,000 orphans due to narcos. For Jose Luis, the vulnerable children represent a potential threat to society years from now. These are children who grow up with hatred and feelings of revenge. If they aren't attended to psychologically, they will end up as part of those same gangs, as part of the violence and the drugs. So the conflict is repeated. It's passed to the next generation. Last year, Tijuana saw more than 2,400 murders, the vast majority of the victims under 30. El Ivan, a former cartel gangster, narrowly escaped such a fate. For two or three months, they give you everything. But afterwards, they either put you in the hands of the authorities or in the graveyard, because it's not good to have you alive with information about their activities. For Tijuana Councilman Roberto Quijano, it's a problem he'd like to tackle, but feels there isn't the political will. Unfortunately, there is very little, um, from the standpoint of the local authority, basically the mayor, uh, there is very little interest on how to reform these kids, how to invest in these uh, juvenile houses uh, where they can improve their lives or they can uh, be uh, incorporated to a productive uh, life. For those in the middle of the violence, steering the most at-risk youth away from organized crime is the first step toward stopping the cycle of bloodshed. Alastair Bavistock, CGTN, Tijuana.